Hey there, fellow time traveler through the annals of entertainment. Remember the good old days when the flickering glow of a black and white screen was all you needed for a cinematic escape? Well, hold on to your popcorn, because we're about to take a stroll down memory lane, back to the golden age of 1966. Who could forget the timeless allure of the movie El Dorado? A mere mention of it might just whisk you away to a time when cowboys and outlaws ruled the cinematic landscape. Were you one of the lucky souls who caught this classic on the silver screen? Picture this, the smell of buttery popcorn lingering in the air, the hushed excitement as the lights dimmed, and the crackle of anticipation before the opening credits rolled. Now, let's rewind the reel a bit. Can you recall your favorite moments from El Dorado? Did the daring exploits of the characters keep you on the edge of your seat? Perhaps you had a soft spot for a particular cowboy, or found yourself cheering for the underdog. And let's not forget those memorable scenes that etched themselves into the fabric of your movie-watching history. This isn't just about reminiscing, it's about reliving the magic. Share your tales from the days when El Dorado was more than just a movie, it was an experience. Dust off those memories, dear viewer, and let's revel in the nostalgia together. Now that we've got the reels of memory rolling, let me treat you to some random facts about the show that you might not have known. Ready to uncover the hidden gems that make El Dorado a true cinematic treasure. Lights, camera, and let the journey into the past commence. El Dorado, a 1966 Western film directed by Howard Hawks, is a cinematic gem that stands as a testament to the enduring allure of the genre. Originating from the novel The Stars in Their Courses by Harry Brown, the movie skillfully weaves a tale of friendship, redemption, and the struggle for justice in the Old West. The narrative centers around Cole Thornton, a gunslinger with a conscience, and his unlikely alliance with the aging Sheriff J.P. Hera as they join forces against a powerful rancher. The film boasts iconic characters, with Wayne and Mitchum delivering stellar performances that add depth and charisma to their roles. Known for its sharp dialogue and subtle humor, El Dorado exhibits Hawk's signature directorial style, marked by tight pacing and expertly staged action sequences. This cinematic masterpiece left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent westerns and contributing to the enduring legacy of the genre. Its impact is reflected in the homage paid to it in later films, affirming El Dorado as a timeless classic in the western genre. In the 1966 movie El Dorado, John Wayne showcased his signature move of cocking a Winchester lever action rifle with a single-handed twirl. The rifle in this iconic shot featured an enlarged D-loop lever for ease of execution. This modified Winchester became Wayne's trademark, making its debut in stage a coach and continuing across many of his westerns. Interestingly, this lever modification gained prior attention in the TV series The Rifleman, where Wayne's co-stars Johnny Crawford and Paul Fix were regulars. The film set, however, wasn't without its tensions. John Wayne, known for his arch-conservative views, found himself at odds with the politically liberal Edward Asner during filming. Wayne, referring to Asner as that New York actor, created an atmosphere of discord. Asner later interpreted this phrase as an anti-Semitic insult, highlighting the ideological clash between the two actors. Despite a history of professional differences, John Wayne's camaraderie with Robert Mitchum in El Dorado marked a notable turnaround. Ten years prior, Wayne had fired Mitchum from Blood Alley. In this instance, they not only worked together but also formed a genuine friendship, showcasing the unpredictable dynamics of Hollywood relationships. In the rugged world of westerns, both on and off screen, El Dorado not only immortalized Wayne's rifle twirl, but also revealed the intricate interplay of personalities behind the camera. From iconic tricks to political clashes and unexpected friendships, the film encapsulated the essence of Hollywood's golden era. In 1966, John Wayne sought a role in the film El Dorado after his stint in Rio Bravo. Wayne had his eyes on the character Sheriff J.P. Hera but lost out to Robert Mitchum in the casting process. Interestingly, this western stands out as one of the rare instances where John Wayne potentially portrays a former Confederate soldier. The hint lies in a line delivered by Bull, who mentions playing the bugle for one of General Hood's Texas cavalrymen. 
This reference likely points to General John Bell Hood, a Confederate leader of the Texas Brigade. Adding to the historical flavor, Bull's choice of weaponry, an 1855 Colt revolving rifle, reflects the attention to detail in recreating the period. The film delves into the complexities of its characters and the era, showcasing Wayne's versatility beyond his iconic cowboy persona. The interplay of history and fiction embodied by Wayne's desire for the sheriff role and the subtle Confederate reference adds layers to the narrative. In a genre often criticized for its simplicity, El Dorado proves to be a nuanced exploration of character and history, all while maintaining the rugged essence of a classic western. And as Bull's cold rifle echoes the past, so does the film, capturing a moment in time where Hollywood and history converged in the dusty trails of the Old West. El Dorado, behind the scenes revelations in the iconic 1966 film El Dorado, John Wayne's running scenes were not all him. Surprisingly, most of those scenes were performed by a double. The rugged cowboy persona may have been Wayne's, but the sprinting legs often belonged to a skilled stand-in, a fact that adds a layer of intrigue to the film's action sequences. Equally intriguing is the poem recited by James Conn's character, Mississippi. The poem, titled El Dorado, is no mere prop. It's a creation of literary maestro Edgar Allan Poe. This subtle nod to classic literature adds a touch of intellectual depth to a film known for its Western grit. However, the movie's backstage revelations don't stop there. In an interview, Robert Mitchum, who played the role of Sheriff J.P. Harrah, spilled the beans on the film's conception. When asked about the story, Mitchum was met with an unexpected response from director Howard Hawks. Hawks, it seems, cared less about the plot and more about the characters. According to Mitchum, Hawks bluntly stated that the story didn't matter because the film boasted great characters. This insight into Hawks' directorial philosophy sheds light on the creative process behind the making of El Dorado. These revelations peel back the curtain on the movie's production, exposing the collaborative efforts and unexpected choices that shaped this classic western. From John Wayne's running scenes to the inclusion of Poe's poetry and Howard Hawks' unconventional approach to storytelling, El Dorado becomes more than just a cowboy flick. It's a tapestry of cinematic decisions that elevate it above the ordinary. In the end, whether it's the thundering hooves of a double in John Wayne's boots, the poetic interlude of El Dorado by Edgar Allan Poe, or the directorial focus on characters over plot, the 1966 film El Dorado continues to captivate audiences with its hidden nuances and unexpected twists. As we bid adieu to the tapestry of tales woven in the 1966 cinematic masterpiece, El Dorado, the echoes of camaraderie, and courage linger in the corridors of our minds. In the rhythmic dance of shadows cast by Hawk's directorial wand, and the harmonious cadence of Wayne's and Mitchum's performances, we find a timeless symphony that transcends the silver screen. As you take a reflective stroll down the dusty trails of El Dorado, let the sepia hues of memory paint the canvas of your thoughts. Perhaps you recall the tension that hung in the air like the scent of impending rain, or the moments of resolute silence that spoke volumes without uttering a single word. Did the film's exploration of friendship and sacrifice strike a chord, resonating with the hidden facets of your own narrative? We invite you, dear reader, to unfurl the scroll of your memories and share the gems that sparkle in the vault of your cinematic experiences. What scenes etched themselves into the mural of your heart and which characters found a cozy nook in the tapestry of your affections? Did El Dorado's thematic riches spark a personal revelation or did it simply become a comforting companion in the quiet theaters of your solitude? Your stories, reflections, and musings are the threads that weave a richer, more vibrant quilt around the legacy of El Dorado. Let this be a digital campfire where tales are shared, where the flickering glow of nostalgia dances upon the screen of our collective consciousness. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the cinematic hinterlands with us. Your time and thoughts are the treasures we cherish. Until the reels of reminiscence turn once more, let the spirit of El Dorado continue to ride the winds of your reflections.